funny, yes. So which car would you would you choose? The Almira or the Jaguar? Which type of The Jag and Kat will give me that extra change so I can get it because it's a small Because there's pocket change for him, of course. Yes, no push. All right, let's let's get cooking. So we are cooking with dates in the kitchen this morning. We have the most amazing, interesting recipes. Zola, this morning we're working with, we're going to be making a lamb and date tagine. Exactly. And to accompany that tagine, we're going to make couscous. Yes. Now most people either make their couscous too dry or too wet. So we're going to teach you today a foolproof method to get it perfect every time. But the question is, yes. what is couscous? This is couscous. It's actually durum wheat. Yeah, so it's the same thing that pasta is made of. So it's like okay. little pasta balls in essence. Okay. And pick and pay has many varieties. So varieties with, you know, larger grain, smaller grain, instant, you know, all sorts. I try to always get the one that's already par cooked so that it cooks much quicker. Okay. okay. So just read the label and make sure that you get the correct one so you yes. cook it correctly. So this one so is not spiced. You obviously get the spiced ones you already. You do get flavored ones with all sorts of flavorings, but um, buy the plain box and play with it yourself. And then you, you know, depending on what you're accompanying it with, yeah. you can flavor it with. Brilliant. Okay, so we're putting some <clears throat> cinnamon in here. Okay. We've got a bit of paprika. Paprika. Or a bit of color and deliciousness. You can do pepper and I can do salt. And then all you do at this stage is stir it around. Okay, okay, so now we distribute the flavor throughout the couscous yes. granules. Okay, so now this is the key. Some people do same equal quantities. Don't do equal quantities because you, the grain might really? be different. So just eyeball it. And if you eyeball it and you eyeball it well, you'll do it fine yeah. every time. Okay. All right, because so, I was always, always under the impression, you know, one for one. No, 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 no. That makes it too wet for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So what you do is you level it out and then you pour just enough boiling water to cover the top. So that's okay. it. That's it, okay? Right. Then immediately cover it with cling film. Okay. And then you leave it to steam. Okay, so that's because it. This is, there's no cooking required and there's, there's nothing. There's no cooking because these are actually par cooked grains. Yes. So all you're doing is sort of rehydrating them, okay? okay. So just leave it. Leave, leave it, it for 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Go about your, your life. And then 5 minutes later, it's, it will have steamed, okay? Okay. So you can see it's absorbed all the water. Wow. And it's looking beautiful. Do so I'm glad you, you grabbed the fork and not the spoon. It's so a nat natural instinct. You're just natural a chef. I, know. I know. It's I in my blood. I've and it's fantastic. <laughs> so always scrape your couscous, fluff it up with a fork. Yeah. Because if you get a spoon through it, it clumps together. And look at that. That's perfect couscous every oh, wow. time. Then at this stage, we add some pistachio nuts just to flavor it. Because that's going to go well with pistachio our lamb. Pistachio nuts. Uh, you can add almonds. You can add any any flavors at this point. Yeah. You can even drizzle some olive oil, make it into a salad. And that's Brilliant. it. Okay. Perfect well, couscous every well, time. Well, there we have it. It's the keyword lamb, two, three, three, seven, two, eight. And you can also know how to make your perfect couscous. So yeah, after the break, we are making a lamb and date tagine. Oh, and yes. I can already tell, based on what I've seen in the kitchen, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, Don't yes. go anywhere. We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast show. This is Expresso, only on SABC3. Right now, we're stepping into the kitchen with Chef Zozo. Hello. And we are making a lamb and date tagine. Date, of course, being our ingredient for the day. Yes, and, they've um, just come into season, so it's a great yes. time to use them. And they are nice. I love dates. Even, even if it's just like that as a little snack. But before the break, we showed uh, Zola showed us how to make the perfect couscous, which will accompany our dish. So, Zola, take it away. Okay, so lamb tagine. Yes. Let's start with the lamb. Here we've got boneless... Um, cubed lamb. You can order a leg of lamb and then have them cut, them up, cut it up yes. or shoulder of lamb, whichever okay. you like. Okay, so in here we're going with the spices because it is a Moroccan dish and it's spicy. This is some ground coriander, a bit Beautiful. of ground cumin, a bit of cinnamon for some sweetness, a bit of dried ginger, and then what you mix, mix this up for us. Sorry, I'm very and curious. Then, what are you curious as about? To what is that? This is saffron. Saffron. The most expensive spice in the world. Really? Yes. Oh my word. Okay, so I want to draw your attention to my beautiful tagine over here. It's drawn. This is, <laughs> this is um, the traditional dish that Moroccans cook their tagines in. Okay. I mean, it's, and it's so named after the dish. Yes. So it, it's beautiful because it's a funnel. Yes. So what happens when you cook is that the moisture rises up to the top of the funnel. And then you can see it's not hollow. There's no hole. Yeah. So it, it all comes back down and oh, it wow. bases while you cook, so it's So it it's moisturizes everything. It's beautiful. And it looks cool. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, so in with the lamb okay, in there. That. that looks good. Then what you want to do is brown the lamb all over. And then once you've done that, you want to take the lamb out. But because we're short oh, on wow. time, we've browned our onions beforehand. So what you okay. would do it's is the onions. brown the lamb, take the lamb out, brown the onions, and then put put the, okay. the lamb back. Whoopsie, lost so la. Got, got it back, don't worry. Don't That's worry. it. Oh. Okay, so you just once smell all those, those spices releasing, it's beautiful. And then these are baby onions. Mm -hmm. 
just because they, they cook down really nicely once you when you cook your, yes. your dish. And then a pinch of saffron, a little goes a long way. So What does saffron it's, taste it's like? Very what does it give? What, what taste does it give? It, it lends a, an earthy flavour. Uh -huh. And it also gives a great colour. It exudes this yellow, beautiful golden really? colour. So, it's, so it's just a little bit, like just that? Just a tiny bit goes a very long way. Okay, so okay. even though you said it's the most expensive in the spice in the world, you will just use a little you bit at a time. You use a little at a time, exactly. Use it sparingly. Pretend it's like diamonds for the kitchen. Diamonds for the kitchen. <laughs> Saffron, <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay, so we've got some um, ch chilli, garlic and ginger paste that's gone in there. And then in with our stock. Mm, beautiful. This is some lamb stock. You can use chicken stock as well. Yes, we are making a lamb and date tagine in our kitchen this morning. You can get the pick and pay shopping list sent straight to your phone. SMS the keyword. What is the keyword? Lamb. Lamb. Two three three seven two eight. And we'll also include a link to the recipe to make your own lamb and date tagine. And then in with the dates. That's on it. with the tagine lid. And then either keep it very low on the stovetop or put it into the oven. 180 degrees, cook it for about two hours until the lamb is tender. Okay. And then with our couscous, we serve it here. Look Ooh, at this beauty of a dish. Look at that. And then we just finish it off here with some jewels. Some, <laughs> some this, jewels. These are pomegranate seeds. They really do look like they jewels. They do, hey? It's like dressing, oh, that. Up, dressing up your, your meal. And there what it is. What a dish. Oh my look word. How delicious. Once again, that keyword lamb to 33728 will include the pick and pay shopping list as well as a link to the recipe. So, um, Zola, yes. if you don't have the tagine, the tagine at yes. home, can you still make this? You can definitely still make it. Use a normal pot that goes into the oven and the, with that, that has a lid. Oh, okay. Same principle. So, same thing. It'll, exactly. It just won't look as beautiful, but the. the Elements are all the same. This really does look special. Doesn't it look special? It really does look special. So if you've missed any of the steps, take a quick look at this. Do you see my mini tagine? <laughs> so my, my minis. Looks like a basutu hat. Then set aside. Saute onions, then add garlic paste. Return lamb to the pot, add stock, dates and saffron. Simmer, cover, then cook in the oven for two hours. Combine couscous, paprika, cinnamon and seasoning. Cover with hot water and leave to steam. Serve tagine accompanied by couscous. And there we go. Easy as that. Yes. And see, you even brought out your mini tagines. Mini tagines. Look, when, when you're having a tagine party, you've got to go all out. <laughs> tagine get, everything. Get Zola for a tagine party. <laughs> I want to just quickly have a taste yes, here. please do. Of this lamb with a little bit of couscous. Delicious. Mmm. Mm. Like a sweetish tinture. Delicious. It's those, it's those dates. Give it such a sweet flavour with the with the spices. It's absolutely delicious. Oh wait, and there's the spiciness coming through. There it is. <laughs> really, really good. Zola, thank you so Pleasure, much. Once always. again, the keyword lamb to three three seven two eight will send you on the shopping list and the link to the recipe. Right now, Zola, how do you feel about fashion, but specifically black and white fashion? It's oh, still in fashion. Fantastic. Love yep. it. Well, that's what we're uh, looking at right now. By supporting businessmen like Sibusisu Chabalala and his Berry Hill Trading Company, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you.